Welcome back everyone to more Motorsport Manager Online. And I talked at the end of the last video when we were deciding which part uh, to do our fixes on that I might have some new parts before this next race, but I decided against that. Um, we did much better than I thought we would at the beginning of this last tier, this last division. So now I wanna see without the new parts. You can see where our car performance lies. Uh, we're what, maybe just shy of two thirds of the way uh, in upgrades. So our car quality is only good, certainly not anywhere near fully upgraded. And I wanna keep it that way right now for this first race. What I do wanna do is go ahead and get Robert McGinnis to a level three. So we've gotten the race pace up to 93. So now let's start working on uh, maybe some other things. And smoothness is what stands out to me. Let's go ahead and do that. If we didn't have those bonuses uh, from Jessica, I would be tempted to do one more in uh, the race pace. But here, I wanna go ahead and do the smoothness since we do have those bonuses. And we've seen Robert is able to run right up front and get those victories. All right, there we go. And you can see race pace for both drivers is awesome. Smoothness for both drivers is also really good. Of course, it's awesome for Jessica. So now we've got uh, 10 races remaining with Jessica before we would need to make some decisions on whether to renew or uh, find a new driver. Seven races remaining with Robert. So now this puts us in a situation, you can see that last upgrade put us into the good quality here. So not bad overall. We're good, but this should not be enough to get us up to the front of the pack. So right now, we're not gonna be doing any upgrades on our car because remember, we used all of our staff on the HQ upgrade. So that's gonna mean in all likelihood, we're gonna be doing the next few races well beyond today's video uh, before we're able to get any upgraded parts. We'll just have to see how it all goes. Uh, but it's looking like that is entirely possible. Now, the promotion is at 50 points. That is a much lower number than we've seen before. We've seen anywhere from 100 to about 150 or so. So this 50 points tells me that maybe we're expected uh, to have to do much better here. Because remember, only the top six get points, so they're not expecting both drivers to get there. So it looks like everything is ready to go. Let's head out to the track. Now we're headed over to Stewart's Island. 26% chance of rain, long pit lane. So you wanna stay out of the pit lane on this track. And because of our normal strategy of making one stop or even two stops if we're required, uh, that puts us in pretty good shape, I believe. Uh, forecast, no rain here at the beginning of the race anyway. We've got our soft and medium tires set up. Overall, you can see qualifying power is much higher with Jessica. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue, even though that gets me in trouble sometimes. All right, what do we get? Fifth and 18th. Okay, I wasn't expecting to be even that high. The 18th sounds about right, uh, given what I was expecting, but fifth is a little better. Does that mean we have a shot at getting points with uh, Jessica? So let's go ahead and set her up. That's four laps. Let's go ahead and do the five lap stint here at the beginning. And we'll do uh, the four lap stand here at the beginning with uh, Robert. Just shy of being able to make it five laps with this neutral driving style on the medium tire. So let's see how things work themselves out. So remember, we need to be in the top six at the end of the race in order to pick up points. And you see here, all right, I was a little uh, concerned with the points here we, at the main screen. 50 points to move on. There's a maximum of 16 points. So that means if you finish 1-2 and sweep the top two spots on the podium, then you're only going to have the opportunity for 16 points. So that brings things basically back in line with uh, where they've been. So it's just simply a different point scale than we've been dealing with. So no, no big deal there. But it did raise some questions for me as to what was gonna happen here in the A class. So you can see uh, Monroe is sliding back a few spots here at the beginning. Not terribly surprising given 
Again, look over here to the left-hand side of the screen and look at the tire wear for everyone in front of her. They are well ahead of her on tire wear, which means they are definitely not on the same race strategy as she. So that's really going to help us out. She's only 11 and a half seconds out of the lead. That's important because, remember, the time on pit lane is considered longer here at this track than uh, others in general. So as long as you can stay relatively in uh, in in check with the leaders, then you can get out ahead of them and save a pit stop will actually save you time on the track. All right, so 15 seconds right now. We should see a lot of pits. There they come. Yeah, all of all those indicators for pits coming by. All right, so Robert should be coming in this time by, right? Yes. So let's go ahead and queue up his pit stop. Okay, and then we'll focus on Jessica, who is up to third right now. And again, these guys are coming in this time by, but four laps isn't too bad if they can do five laps in the next stint. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now is how many laps are these guys planning on doing? How many pit stops are they going to make overall? Uh, let's go soft tire once again. Uh, but this time we only need four laps so we won't have to go full conserve. We'll actually be able to go up to the normal. Uh, in fact, speaking of that, I need to conserve so that he can make it to the end and hopefully I got that done in time. You can see her 4%, 3%. She is running out of tire, but it is thankfully right at the end of the lap. Wow, she's actually going to run out of tire, but okay, so now she is in and out. All right, let's see where she's at. Uh, she's in fourth, but she's got a nice roughly four, four and a half second cushion over sixth. All right, so let's move her up. She should just have enough tire there. And now our focus is whether or not uh, Robert is going to have enough tire. Because you can see he's got an opportunity here to make it. Uh, I'm not sure this hard tire in front of him is going to make it to the end. Are they coming into pit? Oh, there's a couple of guys in front here that are coming into pit. That's going to move move us up a little bit. Okay, we might actually be able to get both of our cars in the finishing uh, order here. We'll see how the tires do on these top two um, as they're not looking too good in front of us. They've got about two and a half laps remaining and I'm not sure they got two and a half laps remaining as we go here. In fact, I saw the leader duck into the pits and same thing for second place. Let's see what kind of lead we can get here with Jessica. This is a very odd turn of events. More pit stops happening. That's going to move Robert up. Uh, of course, he's going to have some soft tires breathing down his neck here, particularly for fourth position. All right, so now Jessica is out to a 10 second lead. Let's not even push her tires. There's no reason to push with her at all. She's got a huge lead. So let's go back over to Robert and see how things are going with him. Uh, you can see fifth and sixth, seventh. Yeah, they're all pretty close together on the track. And those guys are on soft tires, so they're going to be coming quick. And really not any positions for him to make up. Maybe, uh, maybe third position, maybe he can get this one car. But overall, it is going to be a tough road for him to make it to the end of this race in the top six. We just need him to make that car very wide for the remainder of the lap. In fact, let's go ahead and try to see if we can give him any advantage we can. I'm not sure we can afford uh, to help him out any on the tire. Oh, looks like they have he's lost one spot back to fifth. And let's go ahead and go back up to neutral just for that final couple of corners. And we did it. Again, did not expect to see that at all. We get the win. That's right, folks. We got a win. Not just a podium, but a win. Yikes. 12 points out of the maximum of 16. 
That is not what I expected. I do like, once again, seeing these different names on the podium instead of just duplicates of all the different drivers. So 12 points here in this race for a first and a fifth. 350K overall, very nice overall. I am once again shocked. All right, aluminum and gears. Okay, we'll keep them, keep them coming. We'll keep using them. All right, let's see what the strategy was. Looks like a lot of soft tires along the way. Two stops and two stops. Again, you cannot overemphasize the importance of smoothness for these drivers. When you can make just an extra lap on a set of tires, that opens up such huge possibilities, particularly with this distance of race. Because again, everybody using soft tires for the most part did two stops. Okay, let's move forward. And once again, moving up the leaderboard at least a little bit here as it winds down. Only seven hours remaining. Okay, now it's time to uh, do some work on our parts, or at least one of our parts. So now, so what did we learn in our first race of today? Um, unfortunately, not a good sign because remember, our car is nowhere near at max performance. I mean, here you can see the distance we've got to go before our car is at max performance, and we still got both cars in the points and got the victory. So uh, that is going to be interesting. Maybe it was just a one race thing, uh, but we'll have to see. So right now, uh, since we'll be using these parts, again, Jessica seems to be the one that runs into reliability issues when they do happen. So we'll go ahead and fix the 66% on her car. Get her up to just shy of 80. So yeah, it's about time for some new parts for sure. All right, upgrades obviously available, but not for a little while for us. So everything looks good. No sponsors, no HQ upgrades to deal with. All right, so not bad overall. A victory in our first race. What happens in race number two? Looks like our bonus is for seventh place or above. Uh, let's get our tires all taken care of, soft and medium. Uh, qualifying power, still a bit of a gap there, but not quite as much as we've seen in the past. A quick check of the forecast. No rain in the immediate area anyway. So let's see what kind of qualifying we get. Qualifying result, third and 19th. Yikes, 19th is certainly not what we we're looking for, but he started well back in the pack in race number one and still managed to have a great finish. Once again, uh, in a track we've seen very recently, we're gonna try to do that five lap stint here at the very beginning. Uh, let's do that for both cars. They're gonna be spread out enough on track that we won't have to worry about uh, getting them mixed up on, on pit lane and stacking them up. So let's go ahead and wow, if, if Robert can make his way up to the top six in this race, then he will have done a tremendous job because this is certainly not set up for success for him. Boy, look at the places changing hands here early on in this race. I mean, you lose two or three spots in one corner, pick them back up in the next corner. So we're so far so good in the top three. And remember, we are conserving. We are not pushing at all. So as I take a look at the tire wear of those around us, that's what's going to be. The closer we can stay to the leader, the better. And right now, obviously, we are well in touch with the leader. There is a huge pack of cars in the middle of the grid right behind us. So as things start to spread out, what we want to do is keep our track position as best we can. All right, so starting lap number three, all right, and we have a decent amount of tire wear over these guys. So once again, it doesn't appear as any as though anybody is going to try to make it uh, five laps as we are, but we'll see how many of them are going to go four laps and perhaps change to a different tire and try to go the remaining five. So we're still early in the race uh, to the point where nobody has really unveiled a whole lot about their strategy without looking 
at their tire wear. So if you couldn't see that, you'd have really no idea at this point. All right, so now let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got a few pit stops. Wow, okay, a lot of pit stops. I did not expect to see all of those on lap three, or excuse me, after lap three. So that was not what I was expecting. You notice that the leader, however, stayed out, and he's about a five-second lead over us, but he's coming in this time by, no doubt. He's really got no choice at this point but to come in this time by. But remember, we're going five laps on this first stint, so we'll only have to go four on the second stint. So there he comes. He peels off to the pit lane. And now's the time for us to enjoy that clean air and make the best lap time we can. It's a shame we really can't push very hard uh, on our tires. So we want to go ahead and queue up these pit stops before I forget. So let's go ahead and do mediums and mediums. All right, so now you can see we've got about 14 and a half seconds to second place. Let's see how that works. So 2.4 seconds on the pit stop. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're going to come out in second position. Let's see where Robert ends up in, looks like ninth. Okay, let's go neutral. And let's go neutral so on both cars. So let's just see what we can get here. Um, I think we've got a realistic shot of getting both cars in the top six because there's going to be a lot of pit stops ahead of Robert. So let's try to use that to our advantage. And once again, you can see the medium tires on the leader uh, will not hold up. We're, we're running him down very quickly. All right, there you go. We're trying to make that pass for the lead. Can we make it stick? Yes. All right, so now we should basically just pull ahead at this point and pull out to a very nice lead. You can see, let's actually move back to Robert. He's got one more car directly ahead of him. He's fighting pretty hard for these spots. Uh, unfortunately, the car in sixth position is on better tires. All right, so we've got two more laps remaining, a little over two laps for for Robert. So there you go, two laps now as he starts this. So we've got two cars immediately in front of us fighting for position. One of those is on hard tires, so that's what we need. We need to make sure we can pick up that car. There we go. Can we make the position? Yes. It looks like we're going to make it stick. All right, so we're in both cars in the top six. Of course, we only need to be in the top seven for the bonus money. We're easily in there. All right, so final lap. Uh, we'll just go back to conserve for Jessica. Meanwhile, Robert is running very low on reliability. Let's move back to him. Yeah, over a 12-second lead for Jessica. So she is just cruising right along at this point. All right, we will not be pushing the car with Robert. We are, in fact, going to go to conserve mode. We want to make sure we finish this race, even if it means giving up that sixth position, as bad as I would hate to do that. All right, so we are not pushing at all with Robert, and we're going to come home with that final points paying position I like it first and sixth so not bad even Robert who was basically running last made it up to the sixth position it's all about strategy in these races all right so there we go Jessica comes home really cruising to an easy victory all right there you see our bonus money of 100k giving us a total of 350 and now, with another 11 points today, that gives us a total of 23 points, which puts us nearly halfway to our goal of 50, which will allow us to move up another tier. So we'll pick up uh, oh, a little bit of carbon fiber, which is definitely rare. Haven't seen that a whole lot. Pick up a few more gears. Thank you very much. We'll take them. So looking at everybody's strategy, uh, well, pretty much. We've got one stop 
in the top four. However, soft tires being the fastest tire, plus we've got a bonus to make them even faster, and that's proving to be more than any of our competitors can handle, who I believe are in all likelihood mostly AI, if not entirely AI at this point. I could be wrong on that, but uh, something tells me that's probably pretty close. So now let's pick up uh, an opportunity to do some more uh, repair work on our parts. And remember, we're still, we have not done any upgrades to our car uh, since we got this last promotion. So at this point, uh, let's see, we got 64% here. Let's go ahead and fix that one. All right, there we go, 78 and 77% respectively. Not bad overall. So as we make our way back to the main screen, we are doing surprisingly well, even shockingly well, uh, as much as I hate to admit that here in the A class. So remember, we are in the A class, roughly halfway through on the number of points we need. But the main thing is we're going to move up a tier if we're able to have a few more good races, probably three more races at this level, and we'll be able to move up another tier, and then we'll see what is waiting for us at tier number four. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager Online.